As I approach my vehicle, I'm starting from the top, working my way down the bottom. So on my trail, I got two clearance lights, all right? Stands for height. Then I come down to my track, I also got two clearance lights, like I said, which stands for height. And then in the middle, I got my three IG lights. I come down to the front of my hood, I got my headlights, which consists of <clears throat> my high beams and my low beams. Then I got my turn signals, left and right, four-way flashes, all right? All lights are not cracked, bit, or broken, properly attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. Also, the condition, all lights are clean and clear of the proper color, and I see no moisture. Now, I'm gonna check underneath for any puddles that would indicate a leak. I'm also checking the stance of my vehicle to make sure it's not leaning to the left or the right, which would indicate a flat tire, <clears throat> broken suspension, or a shift in my load. Now, I'm gonna hit the stuff that's unique from the left side to the right. So now I got my landing gear platform, my landing gear crank handle, and feet. All not cracked, man, broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. Crank handle's in a uh, secure position. My feet is raised all the way up, all right? And I see no uh, trash or debris on my feet, huh? Or a pad. Come on up, I got right here. My exhaust and my exhaust bracket. It's not cracked and broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right, the condition will be, I see no signs of running sick, which would indicate exhaust leak. All right, now I'm gonna open up the hood. I got my cooling system. So I got my cooling reservoir cap, cooling reservoir, <clears throat> cooling reservoir hose, which leads down to my water pump. My water pump pump is belt driven. Alright? All not cracked and broken prop to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. If I need to feel, I feel through the cap, make sure the cap is tight and secure and it's filled to its proper level. The hose, I see no abrasion, hose and cuts, and I see no leaks throughout the entire system. All right, that belt is not cut, dry, around and free, and I see no excessive play. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go around. So now I got the convex mirror and the bracket. Right, they're both not cracked and broken. Prop ties to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. The mirror is clean and clear. Now when I come in this uh, engine compartment, I'm gonna go from inside out, left to right, top to bottom. So the first thing I got is the engine block, and my frame, both not cracked and broken from the vehicle, not missing any hardware. Both, I see no aftermarket holes and wells. The frame runs the entire length of my vehicle. <clears throat> the engine block, I see no leaks. I got the oil dipstick or field tube, both not cracked and broken from the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right, to check my oil, I would take the dipstick out, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it back out to get its proper read on its proper level. If I need to feel, I feel through the oil feel tube. Make sure the cap is tight and secure, and that I see no leaks from the entire system. All right, next after that, I got the air compressor and the air compressor hose. Both not cracked and broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. All right, that air compressor is gear driven. The hose, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and since it's air, I hear no leaks from the entire system. Next thing I got is the alternator. Alternator wires and belt. All not cracked, been broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing any hardware, all right? The uh, belt and the wires is not cut, dry, right, or frayed. The wires, I see no electrical damage. The belt, I see no excessive plate. And like I said, the alternator is belt driven. Now, I'm gonna do my power stern. So, I got the power stern reservoir cap, power stern reservoir. And then I got my power stern reservoir hose, or hoses, which leads down to the power stern pump. That power stern pump is gonna be gear driven. All right, all not cracked, been broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. Come back up to the reservoir. If I need to fill, fill through the cap, make sure the cap is tight and secure. All right, <clears throat> make sure it's filled to the uh, proper level because it got a sight glass. The hose, or hoses, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and since it's fluid, I see no leaks from the entire system. And like I said, that pump is gonna be gear driven. Now I'm gonna do the steering linkage. I got the steering rod with the two U-joints, front and rear. I got my steering gearbox. Steering gearbox hoses, 
I got my Pitman arm. Cast nut and carter fan front and rear. Connected to the Pitman arm, I got the drag link. Connected to the drag link, I got the steering knuckle. And right here, I got my tie rod. All right, all night crack been broken, probably attached to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right, now I'm gonna say the condition. So, the U joints on the steering rod is properly greased. The hoses on the steering gearbox, I see no abrasion bolts or cuts. And since it's fluid, I see no leaks throughout the entire system. Gearbox is gear driven. All right, I'm gonna be real quick, I ain't gonna take that long, say. Next thing I got is suspension system. So, I got my front leaf spring mount, real leaf spring mount, the actual leaf spring, U bolt, shock absorber. All night crack man broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right, the condition will be, leaf spring can't have no more than 25% missing or damage. If so, I put the old track out of service. Shock absorb, I see no leaks. Now I got the outer braking system, which consists of the brake chamber holes, the actual brake chamber, brake chamber locking ring, push rod, and slack adjust. All night crack man broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. Now the holes, it builds up pressure, so I see no braids or bulges or cuts. And since it's air, I hear no leaks from the entire system. That's gonna cover the holes in the brake chain. Push rod, can't have no more than one inch of free play with the brakes off and the wheels sharp. It's like it just sits at a 90 degree angle. All right, so now we're gonna hit the inner braking system, which consists of the brake drum, the brake shoes, and the brake lining. All night crack been broken, probably attached to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. The condition would be, I see no excessive wear, and I also see no oil and grease. Now I'm gonna come to the steel tire. I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer wall of the steel tire, which is not cracked, bent, broken, probably attached to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. Also, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. Then I'm gonna come to the top of the tire and talk about the tread depth. So the tread depth for these steel tires can't be no less than 4 30 seconds of tread. I'll check it with the tire tread depth gauge. These tires can't be mismatched, retreaded, or recapped. All right. The air pressure in these tires should be between 100 to 110 PSI. I checked up with the tire pressure gauge through the valve stem, which the valve stem is not cracked and broken. Probably tied to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. I hear no leaks from the tire system. That's gonna cover the tire and the valve stem. So I got the rim, lug nuts, hub oil seal, hub oil seal cap, all not cracked and broken. Probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right. The rim, I see no aftermarket holes or wells. Lug nuts, I see no signs of running rust, which would indicate a loose lug nut. The hub oil seal, if I need to feel, feel through the cap. Make sure the cap is tight and secure and I see no leaks from that system. I got my splash guard. All right, splash guard is gonna be uh, plastic. Mud flaps gonna be rubber. So it's not cracked, man, broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing the hardware, raised to its proper level. I got the cooling reservoir, cooling reservoir cap and hose. All not cracked, man, broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. If I need to feel, feel through the cap, make sure the cap is tight and secure. Uh, it's filled to its proper level. The hose, I see no abrasion bulges or cuts, and I see no leaks throughout the entire system. Now, I got my mirror and my mirror bracket. Not cracked, man, broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. The mirror's clean and clear. <clears throat> I got uh, my step light and that fender light. All right, it's not cracked, man, broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. They are both clean and clear of the proper color, and I see no moisture. Now, I got my steps, my grab bar, my door handle, the weather stripper, and the hinges. All not cracked, man, broken, probably tied to the vehicle, I'm missing in the hardware. Now, the hinges is not cut dry right out of the fray. My door opens and shuts properly. My steps is clean and clear and free of debris. Come on back, I got the side box. The side box. <clears throat> I got the hinges, the handle, and the weather stripping. All night crack been broken, probably tied to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. The weather stripping is not cut, dry, ride, or free. My door opens and shuts properly. Inside my side box, you will find three reflective triangles, six bell fuses, and one 10 BC fax, and you should fully charge and up to date. If you don't find it located in my side box, you'll find it located next to my driver's seat on the floor. Now, I got the DEF tank. The DF tank strap gasket and the DF tank cap gasket. All not cracked, bent, broken, prop tied to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. The strap gasket and the cap gasket is not cut, gyro out of the fray. <clears throat> the strap, I see no signs of shiny metal, which will indicate a loose strap, all right? And I see no leaks throughout the entire system. I will speak of the fuel tank as I have spoken of the DEF tank. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. All right, now I come right here. I'm gonna hit everything underneath and work my way out. So, and here I got my drive shaft with my two U joints. 
Alright. <clears throat> That's my nails getting his eye out so they can see too. I got the drive shaft with the two U joints. Front and rear. Right behind me, I got the torque bar. Alright. All night crack bent broken prop ties to the vehicle. Not missing in the hardware. Both is clean and clear and free of debris. I got the catwalk, catwalk steps. Not crack bent broken prop ties to the vehicle. Not missing in the hardware. They clean and clear and free of debris. Now, I got my uh, air lines or air hoses in my electrical line, which is securely connected from the tractor to the trailer. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the emergency line <clears throat> and the blue service line, uh, which is not cracked, man, broken, prop the vehicle, not missing the hardware. Also, I see no abrasion, bows, or cuts, and I hear no leaks from those lines. The electrical line, same thing, not cracked, man, broken, prop the vehicle, not missing the hardware. It's also not cut, dry rod, right or frayed, and I see no electrical damage. I'm gonna talk about the glad hands. The rubber bushes inside of the glad hands and the pigtail box. All not cracked, been broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. All right? The bushing is not cut, dry, rod, afraid. It is also, uh, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and I hear no leaks from the entire system. Then I got the trailer bulkhead, which is not cracked, been broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. Also, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, which will indicate a shift in my load and all my ribbons are present. Uh, I'm gonna say right here, I got the uh, splash guard uh, in the bracket, not cracked, been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. It's raised to its proper level, not dragging the ground. From here, <clears throat> I'm gonna do my suspension. So, on this suspension, the leaf springs is gonna look like this. You good right there. These are your leaf springs. Remember, all leaf springs is never gonna be the same. So that's your leaf spring. All right. All right. So I got the leaf spring with the leaf spring mounts front and rear. Also inside here, you got your U bolts, and you also got airbags and airbag mounts, make it plural. And then I also got shock absorbers. All not crack bent, broken pipe attached to the vehicle, and I'm missing in the hardware. Leaf spring count no more than 25 percent missing or damaged. If so, I put the tractor out of service. The airbags, I see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. And since it's air, I hear no leaks from those airbags. Shock absorber, I see no leaks. Y'all see where I pointed to for the U-bolts? I'm going to show y'all right quick. U-bolt right there. Y'all know what U-bolts look like. Mm -hmm. All right. Next thing we got is the outer brake system, which is just a brake tank and hose. Actually, the brakes, push rod is locked up. All that stuff is brake rod attached to the vehicle. I'm just going to hold it. All right, the hose, I see no brakes and bolts and cuts. It's an air. I hear no leaks from the entire system. Push rod can't. I'm on the wedge. Uh, Free play with the brakes off in the wheel. Shock. Slack adjuster sits at a 90 degree angle. Now I got the inner braking system, which consists of the brake drum, the brake shoes, and the brake lining. All not crack band broken prop attached to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. <clears throat> um, I see no excessive wear and I see no oil or grease for the condition of the inside brakes. Now, I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer rim of these drive tires. They're properly butted together and I see no trash or debris. <clears throat> John, tell me you on the free trip and went up there. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer wall of both drive tires. Which is not cracked, band broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. I also see no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. Come to the top of the tire and talk about the tread depth. So the tread depth for these tires can't be no less than two thirty seconds of tread. I check it with the tire tread depth gauge. These tires can be mismatched, retreaded, recap. Now I'm gonna talk about the air pressure in these tires, which should be between 100 to 110 psi, and I check that with a tire pressure gauge, make it plural through my valve stems. Now the valve stems is not cracked, bent, broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. I hear no leaks from the entire system. That's going to cover both tires and both valve stems. Now, I got my rim, my lug nuts, and this right here is called a hub axle seal. All not cracked, bent, broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. The condition going to be the rim, I see no aftermarket holes as well. The lug nuts, I see no signs of running west, which would indicate loose lug nut. The hub axle seal, I see no leaks. I will speak of this axle as I have spoken of that axle. Now, I got my trailer apron. 
trailer apron, fifth wheel plate, all right, fifth wheel release handle, fifth wheel platform, uh, <clears throat> fifth wheel uh, locking pins, one, two, three, y'all see, all right, and then I have my mounting bolts, which is on the side, I'm gonna say that again, I got my trailer apron, my fifth wheel plate, my release handle, my platform, my locking pins, and my mountain boats. All that crack van broken from attached to vehicle not missing in the hardware. I see no daylight between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel plate. My fifth wheel plate is properly greased. My release handle is in the locked position as well as my locking pins. Right. Now, come on around. Let's see what we got. And now I'm gonna talk about the fifth wheel locking jaws. The fifth wheel locking jaws is secured around the shank of my kingpin. Now, all are not cracked bent, broken prop ties to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. All right. <clears throat> Next thing I got is my trailer uh, tractor tail lights, which is not cracked bent, broken prop ties to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. They are also clean and clear of the proper color, and I see no moisture. All right. Uh, I ain't even named the lights. I'm sorry. So I got my trailer. Uh, I mean, I got my tractor tail lights, which consist of. My left and right turn signal, four-way flashers, brake lights, and right here in the middle are my reverse lights. Uh, all in that crack band, broken prop ties and vehicle, not missing the hardware. All lights are clean and clear of the proper color, and I see no moisture. All right. Now, we'll come on out. Huh. Oh, I forgot this. Mud flap, mud flap bracket, not crack band, broken prop ties and vehicle, not missing the hardware. Raised to its proper level. <clears throat> no. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna hit it for you just because it's right there. <clears throat> uh, the DOT tape is not uh, cracked and broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. It is also not cut, dry, rod, or afraid. It's uh, clean and clear of the proper color. All right. Now I'm gonna come right to the middle. This is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the <clears throat> trailer side marker light. And then I'm gonna hit the trailer rear side marker light, all the way at the bottom. Now, all in that crack band broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. They are all clean and clear of the proper color, and I see no moisture. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna go with the trailer sidewall, which is not crack band broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. Also, I see no abrasion bulges or cuts, <clears throat> which would indicate a shift in my load. All ribbons are present. All right. Now, I got the DOT tape, which is not crack band broken, prop attached to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. It is also not cut, dry, or out of frame. It is also clean and clear of the proper color and it runs at least 50% of the length of my trailer. Now I got the trailer frame and the cross member. Those cross members just hold the floor together. So I got my trailer frame and my cross members. It's not cracked, been broken, from size of the vehicle, I'm missing the hardware. <clears throat> um, the frame, I see no aftermarket holes or wheels. All ribbons are present. And my frame and my cross members runs the entire length of the trailer. All right, come on down. Damn, I got my trailer airlines, which is not cracked, man, broken, prop to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. Also, I see no abrasion bulges or cuts, and I hear no leaks from them lines. It has to be raised at least 18 inches off the ground. Alright, now the first thing I'm gonna hit when I get up under here is my sliding tandem platform and rail. Also my locking pins front and rear and my release handle. All not cracked and broken prop ties to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. Uh the release handle is in the lock position as well as the locking pins. Alright. Now I come right here. I'm in my outer braking system, which is gonna consist of the brake chamber holds, the actual brake chamber. The brake chamber locking ring, push rod, and slack adjuster. All not cracked band broken prop ties to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. The holes, I see no abrasion bulges or cuts, and I hear no leaks from the entire system. The push rod can't have no more than one inch of free play with the brakes off and the wheels chalk. That slack adjuster sits at a 90 degree angle. Next thing I got is my suspension, which is gonna feature <clears throat> my torsion bar, torsion bar mounts front and rear, the leaf spring, and the leaf spring mounts front and rear, the actual leaf spring, all right, and the U-bolts. 
Oh, not crack van, broken prop taxi vehicle, not missing in the hardware. Now, at least bring down more than 25% missing. If so, I'll put this trail out of service. This truck, I mean, this trailer does not have shock absorbers, so don't be sitting around there looking 20 or minutes. Airbags. Or airbags. Looking for that uh, shock absorber. Now, the inner braking system gonna consist of the brake drum, the brake shoes, and the brake lining. All not crack van, broken prop taxi to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. The condition would be, <clears throat> I see no excessive wear and I also see no oil or grease. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer rim of my trailer or tandem tires. They are properly butted together and I see no trash or debris. Now I'm gonna talk about the tires. I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer wall of both tandem or trailer tires. Not crack man, broken prop tires to the vehicle, not missing any hardware. <clears throat> uh, also, I see no abrasion, bolts, or cuts. Now I'm gonna come to the top of the tire and talk about the tread depth. The tread depth for these tires can't be no less than two thirty seconds of tread. And I'll check that with a tire tread depth gauge. These tires can be mismatched, retreaded, or recapped. Um, next thing we'll talk about is the air pressure, which should be between 100 to 110 psi. And I'll check that with a tire pressure gauge through my valve stems. Make sure you make it plural. All right, those valve stems are not cracked, been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, and I'm missing in the hardware. And I hear no leaks from the entire system. That's gonna cover both tires and both valve stems. <clears throat> now, I got my rim, my lug nuts, hub oil seal, hub oil seal cap. All not cracked, been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, and I'm missing in the hardware. The rim, I see no aftermarket holes or wells. The lug nuts, I see no signs of running rust, which will indicate a loose lug nut. The hub oil seal, if I need to feel, feel through the cap, make sure the cap is tight and secure, all right, and that I see no leaks. Also, make sure it's filled to its proper level, because this have a sight glass on if I wipe this off, all right? So, I will speak of this axle, as I've spoken of that axle. <clears throat> mud flat, mud flat bracket, and that crack vent broken, proper ties to the vehicle, not missing the hardware, it's raised to its proper level, not dragging the ground. Now, back here. I got my tension cables. These right here are called tension cables. Also got the trailer door. Uh, the locking mechanism gonna be right here. The actual handle and strap. All right, all not cracked, been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, not missing in the hardware. The tension cables is not cut, cracked, or frayed. The strap is not cut, dry rod, or frayed. The door, I see no abrasion bolts or cuts, which will indicate a shift in my load. All ribbons are present. The locking mechanism is in the locked position. I also have the DOT tape, which is not cracked and broke, prop ties to the vehicle, and I'm missing the hardware. It is also not cut, dry rod, or frayed. It is also clean and clear of the proper color, and it runs the entire width of the trailer door. <clears throat> now I got the DOT bumper, the DOT bumper tape. Not crack been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. <clears throat> the tape is not cut, dry out of the crate. It is also clean and clear of the proper color and it runs the entire length of the DOT bumper. Now I'm gonna name my light. So, hey Chris, bring me 10 back. I got my three ID lights, uh, license plate light, my tail lights, which consist of my left and right turn signal, four way flashers, and brake lights. All not crack been broken, prop ties to the vehicle, not missing the hardware. <clears throat> All lights are clean and clear of the proper color and I see no moisture. <clears throat> I will speak of this side of my tracking and trailer as I have spoken of this side of my tracking and trailer. 